Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and today I'm going to be going through the Wii Shop channel and basically presenting an archive of what was available in it. Um, so, uh, today is January 20th, 2019. On January 30th, uh, Nintendo is going to shut down the Wii Shop channel, so I kind of want to show what, it's all, what it was all about. And, um, I also did this for, um, the Nintendo DSi shop. You can view that video series, uh, you, you can view, I put a link to that video series playlist in the description, so that if you wanted to watch it, you could. So now I'm going to start the video, or the Wii Shop channel. I want you to listen to this. I'm going to miss the Wii Shop channel. And I didn't push anything, it just kind of went over on its own. So, important information. Reminder, Wii Shop closes January 30th, 2019. Oh, I opened it. Dear Nintendo fans, As previously announced, the Wii Shop channel will close for good on January 30th, 2019. The ability to add Wii points was removed last year, but if you still have any Wii points that you wish to spend- Oh, I have 700 of them! Maybe I can buy something! You must do so before January 30th, 2019. Ah, nice, I can drag with this like it's a real cursor, real pointer on Windows. Because only on Windows does it do that, go back up, if you go over too far to the left. Um... If you have any questions, please see our Q&A at https colon slash slash support dot nintendo dot com slash uh, we slash shop news. Um, please also note that as the Wii Shop channel closure date approaches, remaining video on demand services on Wii will be ending as well. Thank you for supporting Wii Shop Channel and for being such great fans of Nintendo. Sincerely, your friends at Nintendo. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna start shopping. So, under here we have, um, a bunch of stuff. Wii Menu goes directly back to the Wii menu without asking you. I figured it would have said, hey, are you sure you want to go back to the Wii menu? Kind of like on, um, on Nintendo DSi shop. So I'll cut ahead. Under the shopping guide, I'm actually going to, um, go with the bottom, with the stuff on the bottom first, and then work my way up. So the shopping guide shows basically how to use it. So about the Wii Shop channel. On the Wii menu, point at the Wii Shop channel and press A to display the channel preview screen. Select start to continue to the Wii Shop channel welcome screen. On the welcome screen, select Start Shopping to proceed to the main menu. By the way, I really like this music.
Anyway, on the welcome screen, select start shopping to proceed to the main menu. I like how they tell you how to do stuff when you've already gotten to it. But they probably have this like on their website or something so that it's e easier to just throw all the documentation in here or something. Or maybe some people don't know how they got into it and want to get into it again. Welcome screen. When you start the Wii Shop channel, you'll first arrive at the welcome screen. Here, you'll see Wii Shop channel news, information, and recommended software titles. Point at this text and press A to view- oh, okay, I should do this. To view full list of recommended software titles currently available on Wii Shop channel. The top four recommended software titles are displayed here. Select a software title to advance to the software download screen. Um, important news and information about the Wii Shop channel is posted here. Then select this option to advance to the main menu. Um, main menu. With the Wii Shop channel, you can spend Wii points to download virtual console titles and Wii software to your Wii console. You can also use your Wii points to send software to Wii friends as a gift. You'll find virtual console games, new channels for your Wii console, and exclusive Wii software called WiiWare. To return to the welcome screen, point out Wii Shop channel and press A. Oh, that's... that's... kind of like web pages, actually. You download WiiWare software... here, in the middle button. Download virtual console compatible software on the left button. Download Wii channels on the right button. Add Wii points with the middle button here, but that's not around anymore, so I can't show that, sorry. That went away last year, in 2018. Um, but maybe they'll show how to how to use it, so I might not, so it might not be completely lost. So we view our account activity here, return to the Wii menu there, View titles you have downloaded. If you have your race downloaded software, you can recover it free of charge right here. You won't be able to do that after the Wii Shop channel is closed, as far as I know. Uh, your current Wii Points balance is shown right here. Uh, you can link your Club Nintendo account, adjust gift settings, input a Wii download ticket code, or remove your Wii Shop channel account here under Settings and Features. View the Wii Shop channel guide here. Now I can push plus to return. I'm used to it being like the B button. Even on the Wii Remote itself, you can't just push the B button to return, to go back. Um, virtual Console. In the Virtual Console section of the Wii Shop channel, you can download classic games from past systems, aka um, completely legal emulation, which is a great thing for uh, pres preservation. I'm really glad that Nintendo started doing this. In the Virtual Console section of the Wii Shop channel, you can download classic games from past systems. Point at the Virtual Console section on the main menu and press A to reach the Virtual Console menu. From there, simply point at a section and press A. Right here is list uh, games by latest editions, list of the most 20 most popular games, show games by game system, publisher, or genre, show games by title, go back to the previous screen, and current Wii Points Balance. WiiWare. WiiWare is the original Wii software available exclusively on the Wii Shop channel. It would be nice if they kind of did something where they ported the, um, like how they ported DSiWare to 3DS eShop and having the WiiWare in the Wii U eShop, but I don't know if they did that or not. They might have, but I don't know. I do know that in the virtual Wii mode, you can use the Wii Shop channel, I'm pretty sure anyway. Kind of defeats the point if you can't. It defeats the point to some extent. 
point to WiiWare on the main menu and press A. The WiiWare main page will be displayed. Point to the button you want to use and press A. Okay, so we've got list games by latest editions, 20 most popular games, by sort by or show by publisher, uh, show by the genre, search them by title. So I'll be going through all of these uh, later. Go back to the previous screen and current Wii points balance. Oh, there's stuff at the bottom. Wii channels extend the functionality of your Wii console. Point to Wii channels on the main menu and press A. The Wii channels page will be displayed. Point to the channel you want to download and press A. So you scroll through the list by clicking up here and down here. Or just dragging, dragging the list or pressing up and down on the D-pad. Um, right there. Lists of Wii channels in order of release. Latest titles appear on the top of the list. Wii channels you have already downloaded will show downloaded. Uh, down here you can go back to the previous screen and the current Wii points balance. Of course. Most important part. Downloading software. Choose software and information about that software will be displayed. Software can be downloaded to the Wii system memory or an SD card. If downloading to an SD card, be sure to insert the SD card into the Wii console's SD card slot beforehand. All virtual console software is available in English only. Uh, WiiWare software is available in English only, in a combination of two languages, English, French, English, Spanish, or in trilingual, English, French, and Spanish. Details regarding available languages can be found at the end of each title's description. Um, okay, so right here is information about software ESRB ratings. Entertainment Software Ratings Board, I think is what that stands for. Uh, confirm which controllers are compatible with the software, I'll need to show that. Go back to the previous screen. Purchase the software. Um, you can send the software to a Wii friend as a gift. I don't actually know anyone who has ever set up their Nintendo Wii to accept friend codes and gifts, so I won't be able to do that. Current Wii Points Balance is right here, and get more information about this software. Oh, Nintendo Wi-Fi Connection Services. Uh, the blue Nintendo Wi-Fi Connection logo supports free Nintendo Wi-Fi connection service. The pay and play orange logo supports Nintendo Wi-Fi connection pay and play service. See below. Uh, confirm which controllers are compatible with the software that right there is where Wi-Fi connection logo is. Um, that's kind of not a thing anymore except if you change your DNS servers um, you can still play online because Nintendo kind of messed up and didn't serve the ULA, the end user license agreement over HTTPS. So it can be redirected to another page with a custom DNS uh, ad address. Okay, so it shows uh, confirm which controllers are compatible with the software. Information about e software ESRB ratings. Go back to the previous screen. Um, purchase the software. Current Wii points balance. Send this software to a Wii friend as a gift. More information about the software or view its manual. If the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection pay and play icon is displayed on the details screen for game title, additional content or services associated with this with that title may be available for download using Wii Points. Oh, so that's how the pay and play service would work. Controller confirmation. 
Point at View Compatible Controllers on the Details screen and press A to display the controller confirmation screen. This screen shows information about controllers and accessories compatible with the selected title. So right under here, that's where the list of controllers is. So for this icon, that means Wii Remote Controller, Wii Remote TM Controller. This one is Nunchuck TM Controller. This one is Classic Controller TM. This one is Nintendo GameCube TM Controller. This one is Wii Balance Board TM Accessory. Do I have one of those? This one is Wii Zapper X TM Accessory. Almost made a mistake there. Uh, Wii Wheel TM Accessory is what that is. I don't have one of those. Actually, I think I do. But I never use it because it's not very good. Um, we speak microphone. We or right here, that's what that is. We speak TM microphone. This is just a standard USB microphone. A standard USB keyboard. This is um, We Motion Plus TM accessory. This one is um, Nintendo DS TM system. And then this one with the little camera area is Nintendo DSi TM system. What will you and I do? I think that's what their thing was. If not, I can just take that out. Um, the controller confirmation screen will be displayed automatically when downloading or sending software and GIFs. The, uh, the Nunchuck and Classic controller are extension controllers that can only be used when connected to a Wii Remote controller. I think that's about it for this part. Um, I kind of need to... I kind of need to get to sleep now. I was having technical issues with trying to connect to uh, the Wii Shop channel and the Wi-Fi connection was not working on my Nintendo Wii, so um, yeah, I expected this to be shorter. I can cut out a bunch of this. Um, goodbye for now.